ass is fat, but if she fuck, I might just leave her ass I'm like, oh goddamn, and they go ham, I might just beat her ass You think I'm so damn loyal, I ain't for you, I'm a cheater, ass What can you tell us about this new tape, I'm My Demon? What's the idea behind it? Is there any concepts? I'm My Demon is just like a whole bunch of fuck shit, bro. Like, I'm my own problem, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nothing else is my problem. Like, everything that I went through in life is just like my fault, you know? And speaking with my co artist, um, Drown God, we both like agree on that shit. So it really just like sticks with us, you know what I'm saying? And you should expect a whole bunch of like distorted fuck shit, like real underground shit that you won't hear from no one else, bro. How has the experience been working with Drown God? Working with my bogey brother, that's like, that's my fucking guy, bro. Like, he gets me, bro. Like, he gets the shit that, like, I talk about. Like, don't get me wrong, other FBM members, like, you know we all from, like, different areas and shit like that. So, you know, everybody went through a little bit, like, a different shit. But, like, when I speak to Drown God, I really understand, like, the struggle of, like, just trying to get bread by, like, any means as a, you know, teenager, just fuck shit, like, fucking bitches, like, all that bullshit that you hear, like, on TV and all that extra shit, like, he's able to tell you, like, that shit, the ins and outs of that shit, so am I, that's why it's real, like, genuine, you know, why we, um, we just click so well You know what I'm saying Like It's a whole lot of fuck shit Pretty much Like Just working with God, Drown God Is just like A whole lot of fuck shit bro Like You won't get that shit nowhere else How do you try to make yourself Stand out In a world With so many other artists Shit nigga I, I stand out In real life Nigga like All this shit That you see me talk about Like Swim out of bitch Pussy old And shit like that Like I really swim out of bitches Pussy old Like Head first, just, you know, swimming out that bitch pussy hole, you know? And what makes me different is because, like, I say what the fuck I gotta say, bro. And, like, all the people around me is, like, weird as fuck. They all into some weird shit, bro. Like, I got this one nigga who, like, he fuck with, like, foot fetishes and shit like that. But don't fuck with that nigga. Like, he'll shoot your face off, bro. Like. No funny shit, bro. Like, he just like that. He just that type of nigga, bro. Speaking on your music career, if you could go back and do anything differently, would you? Any advice you would give to yourself just starting out? Uh, if I had to give anybody, like, even just me as a person, like, me as a person, bro, I feel like I should have just stuck to what the fuck I want to do instead of fucking with other niggas, bro. Like, that was the biggest problem I had, bro. Just really just trying to do the shit that everybody else suspected. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm around the neighborhood where alternative music really ain't the wave, bro. They like, what kind of school shooter shit you want? And it's like, nah, bro. This is how the fuck I feel sometimes, bro. And niggas just don't understand that shit. You know what I'm saying? Who inspired your sound? Give us a top five list those who were most influential on you and who made you want to make the type of music that you make alright so I'm gonna keep it a bean uh, shout out Smeef listening to Smeef really like Rut the Reaper you know what I'm saying like music top 5 so that's one I love X and Ski that's, that's two right there so that's all I got but that's three S and Ski, they really just had like a certain dynamic that you just can't replicate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not. I'm not trying to replicate the shit at all. You know, I just add my own twist on it. You know what I'm saying? But I pay homage by doing certain shit in my songs that relate to the early music that they make. Now, I always fuck with the Gorillas. You know, I love they flow and the way they put together like music, and it's not even like rap. You know what I'm saying? So that's cool. And Bruno Mars, bro. I love Bruno Mars. I got Bruno Mars tatted on my ass cheek. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> so far, what is your biggest achievement musically? My biggest achievement is a song for uh, Peg That Bitch <laughs> on SoundCloud. Uh, Stacy London, TM. You know what I'm saying? But my 
my biggest achievement is a song called Peck That Bitch, and I was drunk as fuck, you know, like, I was really fucking drunk, and I'm just like, you know what, let me just make a song that's just, more, like, the most out there shit, like, you know what I'm saying, especially everybody was talking about pegging and shit, so I was just like, fuck it, you know, and then, like, again, swimming out that bitch pussy hole, you know, and it's weird because I woke up the next fucking day, and I seen, like, a thousand plays, I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck it. This shit is hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's why I really got like a follow. You know what I'm saying? Like my type of crowd, like niggas who understand that I make music just to have fun with it and not just be like stuck up in the mud and nigga. Like I'm just trying to get into the industry. Like niggas just like, really understand me based on that. And that, and that that song just tells what type of person I am. What is your ultimate goal, and what steps are you taking to reach that goal? Uh, my ultimate goal in this whole shit is just to get, like, my music out there, bro. Like, just spread my message. Like, bro, stop worrying about the wrong shit, bro. You never know when the fuck something bad gonna happen in your life, bro. Or just live your life, bro. You know, RP, Midas, and shit like that, they were a great fucking person, but... That just shows you life way too fucking short, bro. And appreciate the shit that you fucking have, bro. Because not a lot of people have that mental space or that will to go on. And I have that will to go on, bro. You know, so really what I've been doing right now is just like really putting my shit out there. Like putting video snippets, everything. Like and really interacting with everybody who interacts with my music. Fan or not, bro. Just interacting in general. Has there ever been a time that you wanted to give up? What made you feel that way? And what inspired you to keep going? Hell yeah, I wanted to fucking give up, bro. When I seen um, one of my mans, you know, uh, he just did a fucking song, bro. And that shit went to like 16K for like two days, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? I've been at this shit for like a year, bro. And I ain't get that off two days, bro. Like, what kind of shit is that? You know what I'm saying? It just, it just made me in a dark place. Like, I wasn't hating, because I'm not going to sit here and be like, you know, oh, this nigga made it. Fuck him. He could suck a dick. I'm going to just stop making music. I just was like, you know what? Fuck it. But what made me want to do, um, just want to keep going, is the niggas from Key Mob, my fault, is, saying FBN, uh, Key Mob, they really just was like, yo, come to Florida, uh, perform with us, bro, and then the next fucking day, I go to, um, a party, and niggas is playing my music, bro, and they're like, yo, my nigga, like, we got him in here, so I was just like, nah, I gotta do this shit, bro, because even though everybody in New York, because that's where I'm from, you know, not everybody listen to my music, and that's okay, Everybody works at their own pace, you know what I'm saying, so... Pussy (laughs) y'all! What's the biggest mistake you've ever made in your career, and what did you learn from it? Hell yeah, what I learned from, you know, doing shit is really... You gotta find balance, my nigga, because when I wasn't balanced and I was all fucked up and I tried to make music, bro, I was coming out with shit, not even half as good as, not even a quarter of my best work, bro. Like, in terms of, like, putting everything together, quarters and everything, it wasn't even nothing, like, you know, so, really, you, know, you just gotta do what your fucking heart feels, and if you're not okay, it's okay to not be okay. Really follow your, how you feel. Your mother stank, bitch. If you weren't making music, what path do you think you would have chosen? I would have been a came. But la, 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 la. Whoa! I would have been a came a porn star, bro. I still am, you know. Porn hub coming soon. X videos coming soon. I don't fuck with X hands, so you know what's up. Like, be for real with yourself. Just get your money out, not your funny out. What's the best advice you could give to an artist who's just starting out? Make the music that you want to fucking make because 
Your bitch fucking somebody else anyway, so you might as well do it. Or your nigga fucking somebody else. Or your attack helicopter, whatever the fuck. They doing other shit, so do what you want to do. What is the message you want your fans to receive from your music and your art? Uh, I don't know. Um, bro, follow your fucking dream, bro. Don't be a waste of fucking space. Bro, niggas is not gonna like everything you do, so fucking do it anyway. Get them mad. Big gang shit. Key mob, you know what's up. Anything for clout. Anything for clout. Get your clout up. How have you gone about promoting yourself and what seemed to be the most effective? Interact with your fucking fans, bro. If you interact with your fans and create like a group, like a family, bro. You're not gonna fail. You know what I'm saying? Just and be persistent, bro. Be fucking persistent. Don't be afraid to just keep putting out music, bro. The more times you put out music, the more people fuck with you. The more your following gonna gain. So, and that's what I'm learning right now. So, just do it. Tell me your favorite video game, movie, show, and album, and why each of them are significant to you. If you could just give us a quick summary of each. My favorite game is some Jack Black game where he's playing metal heavy and he's like just going fucking ham. Bro, that was the first game I ever fucking beat, bro. And that shit was fire as fuck. And my favorite movie, um, I don't, I don't know. Uh, 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 Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Do you enjoy any heavy metal? If so, give us a list of your favorite bands. If not, tell us why you don't like the genre. I enjoy heavy metal, but me personally, like, and I gather inspiration from it, but me personally, I never had any focus on heavy metal, you know. Maybe in the future, I might try to implement and try to make one full track of the straight heavy metal and really try to get into it because I like the aesthetic and the style and the sound in general. But for me, it's just the genre is just like... It's too destructive, you know, so I can't, I can't, I gotta get balance in my life, you know what I'm saying, I can't, I can't get by on that. Tell me your favorite part about making a track. Is it finding the right beat, writing the lyrics, finding the concept, or just the feeling of accomplishment when you finish the song? My favorite part of, like, making a track is, like, I get the moment on the songs. <laughs> I'm like, cool. <laughs> and, you know, just hearing the bass for the first time, really just like, the 808 just, oh my God, 808 is so sexy in my song. So it just, brr, 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 you know, like a blow horn out of a bitch pussy, you know. And then hearing the final product and then putting the snippet out, because I'm like, I know which one niggas gonna fuck with it. I know which one niggas ain't gonna fuck with so, so I get a lot of feedback. I love that shit. It's like, it's like nothing for the first time. What do you find to be the most satisfying part about what you do? The most satisfying part is just like, just being able to say whatever the fuck I want. Yo, fuck me with your pizza, nigga. How and where do you find the inspiration for your lyrics? What gives you an idea for a song? Um... Sometimes I get writer's block. Writer's block is fucking the worst. But when I sit there and I see something funny as fuck, I try to implement it sometimes. Or sometimes I just sit there and I'm like, yo, what's the craziest outlandish shit? Like, example, right? I'll be sitting down, I'll be chilling, just like how I am right now doing this interview. And I would say something like, um, once, uh, my fault, yeah. Yeah, one second. Oh, you up? Yeah, I'm up. I'm up. I bet, bet, bet. Where are Brim from? I don't know. I don't know. Some some bitch just sent me a booty old picture and shit. Nah, 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 nah. Fuck with you. I'm fuck with you. Nah, nah, nah. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna send, send you those songs. I bet, stay. But yeah, like, see, like, booty old picture, right? So I would take that booty old picture, uh, Something, you know, go figure. You know what I'm saying? Jumping on my dick just like she a ticker. You know? Like my dick kinda big like a sneaker. 
<laughs> no, stop. <laughs> but yeah, just like that, I would just say a whole bunch of shit and I'd just be moaning like, oh God. But yeah, um, yeah, that's just how I really just get inspiration. And I get my money up. <laughs>